Well, the world tonight remembering the actor best known for his role in the Harry Potter movies, also one of our favorite holiday movies, Love Actually. Alan Rickman died today after a short battle with cancer. CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo is here with a look back. Lisa. Rick, totally shocking. Alan Rickman was one of the best loved and most admired British actors of the past 30 years. He had 68 films and TV credits, but he will forever re be remembered as Harry Potter's Professor Snape. Past, it was often the Dark Lord's pleasure to invade the minds of his victims, creating visions designed to torture them into madness. Alan Rickman first brought the complicated Hogwarts professor to the screen in 2001 with the release of Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, and did not say goodbye to the role until 10 years later with his character's heartbreaking death in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Author J.K. Rowling remembered Rickman fondly, tweeting out, there are no words to express how shocked and devastated I am to hear of Alan Rickman's death. He was a magnificent actor and a wonderful man. Daniel Radcliffe paid tribute to Rickman on his Google Plus page, saying, in part, Alan Rickman is undoubtedly one of the greatest actors I will ever work with, and I will carry the lessons he taught me for the rest of my life and career. He also said that on Harry Potter's set, Rickman was one of the first adults to treat him like a peer rather than a child. Rickman's acting career spanned more than four decades. He worked with Britain's Royal Shakespeare Company. And call off Christmas. He was first introduced to audiences in this country opposite Bruce Willis in Die Hard as the suavely sinister criminal mastermind Hans Gruber. Of course, Rickman acted in two films coming out this year, the drama Eye in the Sky and Alice Through the Looking Glass and Alice in Wonderland sequel sequel. Rickman married his love of more than 50 years, Irma Horton, in New York City in 2012. He did not confirm the union until last year, telling reporters that after they wed, they walked across the Brooklyn Bridge and ate lunch. Alan Rickman was 69. Well, he was a great, we thought of him as a character actor, but I've been reading, he was a major star on the British stage. Stage, huge. All the time. Won awards for that, won a Golden Globe, really. And then what I loved about Alan Rickman is that he crossed the generations. My yeah. daughter knows him, we grew yeah, up watching him. So it was really a, a man we will remember in movies for years and years to come. Oh, big loss. Yeah. All right, Lisa, thank you. Thank you.